safe and sound at home again. Let the waters roar, Jack. Safe and sound at home again. Let the waters roar, Jack. Long we've tossed on the rolling main. Now we're safe ashore, Jack. Don't forget your old shipmate. Rolly, 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 ride o Good evening. My name is Brian Scott. I'm a principal at Cohasset High School. And it is my pleasure to welcome you tonight to the 2020 Senior Class Night. Roughly 50 organizations have raised about a quarter of a million dollars to celebrate the accomplishments of 13 years of work for our seniors, and it isn't a more deserving group. So I hope you enjoy the night. The American Legion Auxiliary Scholarship. Awards are made annually to the deserving seniors planning to further their education. A family veteran affiliation is often desirable. This year, the scholarship award goes to Greg Smith. Congrats, Greg. Hello, this is Chris Levisi for the parents who don't know me. I teach high school social studies. I'm going to now read the recipients of this year's American Legion George H. Neely Post 118. His scholarship money is awarded to those seniors who have been accepted by a degree granting institution. And the recipients this year are a wonderful group of students. We've got Thomas Shinnett, Jason Conforti, Thomas Dockray, and Reese Patterson. Congratulations. The Thomas Wigmore uh, Memorial Scholarship will be awarded to Abigail Oliver. Congratulations to all these seniors, and thank you to the American Legion for providing the scholarship funds. Hello, my name is Rob Hillman. I'm an assistant scoutmaster in Troop 28 Cohasset. Every year, the Barbara Pape Memorial Scholarship is awarded to seniors who have participated in a program of scouting in Cohasset and who will attend a program of higher education. This year, there are six members of Troop 28's senior class, four of whom attend Cohasset High School. All of them have, or shortly will, attain the rank of Eagle Scout. Your classmates receiving this scholarship have performed hundreds of hours of service to the community. They've acquired the skills you would expect of a scout, such as camping, fire starting, field cooking, and if any of those things go badly, first aid. Each of them has provided leadership within the troop and within the broader community. Each of them has dedicated themselves to the program for years, in some cases as many as 12 years. We are confident that each of them will take the skills they have developed and go on to make a substantial contribution to their schools and communities in the future. We wish them well. This year's recipients of the Barbara Pate Memorial Scholarship are Miles Frank, Jeff Rosen, Otto Turnquist, and Will Seavey. On behalf of the Scholarship Committee and behalf of Troop 28, uh, we wish all of the Class of 2020 the best in their future. Hi everyone, my name is Greg Bilton and I'm so pleased to be able to present this year's Brian K. Bilton Scholarship to an outstanding group of student athletes. Each year for the last 14 years, the Brian K. Bilton Scholarship has been given to a swimmer or swimmers who share Brian's love and enthusiasm for the sport, has demonstrated leadership and commitment to the Cohasset High School swim team, and is focused on academic achievement. I want to thank this year's scholarship committee, Jill Ward, Mandy Mahoney, and Janet and Frank Costa, who continue to keep my brother's name and spirit alive in the Cohasset swimming community. In particular, I want to thank our committee chair, Helen Daly, who is our friend and was our neighbor for many years while we lived at Cohasset. She, along with the other committee members, both present and through the years, have been so instrumental in making sure this scholarship has been available to many deserving students in the community. On behalf of them, my family, and all the people in Cohasset that had the opportunity to know my brother, I'm proud to recognize and present this year's scholarship to four well-deserving individuals. The first is Emily Appleton. Emily is a two-time swim team captain and a four-time state title holder, earning three titles alone this year. A longtime summer swim team member, it's hard to imagine how successful she has been in the classroom given the amount of time and energy she's devoted to swimming. I'll have a few choice words for my swimming coaches at my alma mater, Brown University, as, as they let her go to our rival, Dartmouth. Anna Parks is our second recipient. 
a three-sport high school athlete. Anna was the high school swim team captain this past year following an MVP season in 2018. Dedicated to the sport of swimming, she is also a swim instructor and lifeguard, just like my brother was, and has no doubt left a mark on countless future swimming stars. I'm very jealous that she will have access to unlimited pool boys next year as she takes her talents to Tulane University next year. The third recipient is Sarah Rice, a three-year multi-event team record holder and state champion on the high school team, as well as a future championship qualifier for the U.S. Swimming Weymouth Waves. She not only excels in the water, but in the classroom as well. She's been intimately involved in all of the Cohasset Summer Swim programs for many years, and we wish her the best next year as she heads to William & Mary. Our last recipient is Liren Vigneault. Swimming has always been a very special place for our family. We were very moved with how Liren expressed that swimming has touched her life and her experience with the sport very much mi mirror those of my brothers. We hope for wonderful things for Liren next year as she tackles UMass Boston. Thanks again, everyone, and good luck. Tonight I have the pleasure of presenting the field hockey scholarships and the winners should come as no surprise. This year's recipients are Jessica Moy and Molly Greer. Congratulations to you both. Hello, this is Brandi Chapman and I'm representing the Cohasset Cheerleading Boosters Club. I am excited to announce our three scholarship winners. All three have shown exemplary determination over the past four years on the Cohasset cheer team. Olivia Hinkler will be moving on to UMass Lowell, where she plans to join the cheerleading squad. Olivia overcame adversity during her freshman year and persevered to become an integral member of the team. We are happy to announce her as a scholarship recipient. Nina Muscosha had known from a very young age she was destined for cheer. She's had a great four years tenure competing and as captain this year and is our second recipient. Finally, Bridget McMillan has done an excellent job as captain on the team. Cheer has taught her self-confidence, which she tries to impart on her younger team members. She is our third and final recipient. All three girls have been a pleasure to watch to develop over the past four years on the team. Please join me in congratulating them on being awarded a scholarship. Go Cohasset! My name is Betsy Walsh Connolly, and I am so proud to be here to award the Joseph Walsh Memorial Scholarship to a graduate of Cohasset High School for 2020. I uh, represent the Cohasset Democratic Town Committee and am greatly pleased to say that of the 14 applicants that we had for our scholarship, the Everyone was outstanding. The uh, question of leadership came up uh, in many different forms. Someone who is ambitious, someone who is committed, somebody who is honest, someone who is diligent, someone who truly cares. And our recipient this year for the uh, $1,000 scholarship, we're delighted to say, is Jessica Moy. Jessica has exhibited leadership in so many formats throughout music, drama, uh, sports, leadership, uh, being involved in the diversity program, green projects, interning for our uh, state representative, and uh, being truly a community member who's brought a tremendous difference to the town. Uh, Jessica plans on going to Wesleyan and is hoping someday to be a judge. So we're rooting for you and congratulate you on this outstanding honor, Jessica for being uh, our Cohasset Democratic Town Committee selector um, applicant for the Joseph Walsh Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations. Hi seniors, this is Mrs. Moriarty and I'm here to present the Community Garden Club of Cohasset Prize. The Community Garden Club of Cohasset will be awarding graduating seniors who plan to further his or her education regardless of college major, but with special consideration for any student who has an interest in any area of horticulture or the environmental arts and sciences. Also, 
Good citizenship and service to the community are important considerations. This year, the Community Garden Club of Cohasset recognizes Ned Farrington, Will Seavey, Liren Vigneault, Jessica Moy, and Greg Smith. Congratulations to the entire class of 2020. Hi, I'm Jeff Moy. I'm the president of the Cohasset Golf Boosters, which represents both the boys and girls high school golf teams. First, I would like to congratulate the entire class of 2020 on their graduation. It is a great accomplishment and well-deserved. I know typically this is a time of celebration and it's disappointing that as seniors, you are having to have so many plans to change this uh, past few months. But we, we remember that this doesn't take away at all any of the uh, proud recognition and the hard work that you have done through all these years. Uh, now I'd like to also thank all the seniors that have applied for the golf scholarships. You are all very well deserving and you wrote excellent essays and represented the high school golf teams very well in these recent years. I am also happy to say that we have multiple recipients this year. And the winners are Ryan Leahy, Jack Fitzpatrick, Jessica Moy, and Margaret Curley. Congratulations to all of you, and I wish that I was able to do so in person. Good luck in college and all your future endeavors. Have a great summer, be well, be safe, and hope to see you around town again soon. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is John Dockery. It is my honor to present this year's Cohasset Gridiron Club scholarships to these 10 individuals who have achieved both in the classroom and in the gridiron field for the last four years. The following winners are Thomas Chenette, Sam Franklin, Tucker Fulton, Ryan Gentile, Stephen Martell, Connor McGovern, Danny Nolan, Austin Tarpey, Gray Thomas, and last but not least, Thomas Dockray. Congratulations, gentlemen, and we wish you the best in all of your future endeavors. My name is Mary Fran Olson. And my name is Lauren Walsh, and we are from the Cohasset Arts Boosters. Our mission is simple. Cohasset Arts Boosters provides essential support for all of the fine and performing arts from grades six through 12 at Cohasset Middle and High School. We are so thankful to live in a community that values the arts and the talents that our students share through their performances, productions, displays, and shows. For consideration of this scholarship, we ask students to provide a brief statement about how the arts have influenced and enhanced their life while at Cohasset Middle and High School. We are pleased to present the 2020 Arts Booster Scholarships to four students who have found their place and their passion in the arts. Emir Casey. Emir stated that her time at Cohasset Middle and High School completely enhanced my love and passion for art and have inspired me to keep going and pursue art as my career. She found her place in the spotlight through the theater program and hopes to continue with the theater while she pursues her art degree. Jason Conforti. Jason has blessed us all with insightful and artistic videos of our town and school. He said, the screen was a gateway, a portal into another view of life, which was captured so perfectly in the tiny screen. Through his talent, he has captured the essence of what it means to be a student at CHS. Tasha Arnold. Tasha credits the arts program with building my confidence and happiness during her years at Cohasset Middle and High School. She has found her passion in the arts and intends to pursue a degree in art therapy. Virginia Coffey. Virginia told us how each year the arts supported her high school experience playing an instrument, 
as a member of acapella and on the stage. She found amazing friends and found a home where she felt calm, accepted, and creative. Congratulations to this year's recipients of the Cohasset Arts Booster Scholarship. Everybody, this is Coach A. I'm here to present the Cohasset Lacrosse Boosters Scholarship. This award is awarded to graduating lacrosse players who have achieved academic excellence, consistently devoted themselves to community service in Cohasset, and have significantly contributed to Cohasset Youth Lacrosse. This year's recipients are Gray Thomas, Jack Fitzpatrick, Molly Greer, Lauren Farron, and Colin McFetridge. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Elisa Gittens Carl, and I've been the MECO director for the town of Cohasset for the past 19 years. It is an honor for me to recognize three young women as the recipients of the Cohasset MECO PSO scholarship. Each year, we hold a holiday wreath sale to raise the funds that support this scholarship. Today, I recognize Jordan Fonfield, Sapphire Gibson, and Jenna Moise Clough as our scholarship recipients. You have endured hundreds of 4 a.m. wake-ups, clocked thousands of miles riding up and down Route 3A. You've endured late night homework sessions and probably have lost sleep that you may never be able to find. And to end your high school years virtually, well, that just speaks for itself. But you had to go through all of that in order to arrive at this point in time. So we celebrate you. I celebrate you and am grateful for all we have shared together. I have faith that you all will continue to make us proud as you step into the next, whatever the next might be. As Kerry Washington once said, your life is your story and the adventure ahead of you is the journey to fulfill your own purpose and potential. Travel well. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Good evening. I have the honor of presenting the Cohasset Permanent Firefighters Award. The recipient of this award is no stranger to the firehouse, and it gives me great pleasure to offer it to Tommy Dockery. Congratulations, Tommy. Good even, Todd Cohasset Seniors. I'm Mr. McCabe. The Cohasset Policemen's Association offers $1,000 in scholarships to deserving seniors who plan to further their education after high school. Consideration is given to eligible candidates who wish to pursue a career in law enforcement or are a son or daughter of a Cohasset Town employee. Scholarships are awarded on the basis of scholastic stability and financial need. Scholarship money will be awarded after the student has successfully completed his or her first semester of the post high school program with a letter of C or better in their chosen major. Students planning to attend any educational or training program are eligible. Here are the scholarship recipients. Noah Sullivan, Caroline Halverson, Madeline Grudinskis, Paige Hewitt, Thomas Chenette, Carly Ford, Ryan Gentile, Riley O'Leary, and Taylor Herndon. Congratulations, graduates. Hi, I'm Trish Morris, representing the Cohasset Rotary Club. For more than 50 years, our club has been awarding scholarships to deserving Cohasset students and we're pleased to continue that tradition this year. Although we wish we could do in person to deliver these this year, we're happy to announce the 2020 Cohasset Rotary Scholarship recipients. Margaret Curley, Anna Davis, Kyra DeGroat, Lauren Farron, Madeline Gridinskis, Jessica Moy, Abigail Oliver, Reese Pattison, William Seavey, Gregory Smith, John Simmons, Liren Vigneault, and Megan Wong. When you receive a Cohasset Rotary Scholarship, you actually receive two things. The first is a check from Rotary to help with your college expenses, and the second is that your name goes into the Cohasset phone directory. 
right here in the beginning of the book, in the front of the book, where we've been proudly displaying the names since 1947. You're in good company. Congratulations. Hi, smart students. Mrs. Humphrey here. I am honored to announce the winners of the Cohasset Sailing Club Scholarship. Let me tell you about that. I've got to read from my computer. It is our mission to create, it is the Sailing Club's mission, to create able and confident sailors so that they can take full advantage of our close relationship to the sea. The Cohasset Sailing Club has turned out thousands of terrific kids in its 50 years as a community boating and teaching organization. To continue our mission of teaching and to support our children as they move on from Cohasset, the CSC is awarding college scholarships. Two awards will be given to two worthy graduating seniors who will be attending college and who have participated in the Cohasset Sailing Club program as a participant and or instructor. This year's winners are Ian Appleby and Madeline Gradinskis. Yay! Congratulations, guys. I hope it's lots of money. My name is Patty Thompson, and I'm president of the Cohasset Teachers Association. I'm bringing you greetings from all of the members of the association, including your teachers, your ESPs, your nurses, your secretaries, and your administrators. Tonight we have several recipients are Carly Ford, Julia Gallagher, Malin Gr Gridinskis, and Lauren Vigneault. Congratulations to all of you and congratulations to the entire class of 2020. Hi, this is Mrs. Moriarty and I will be presenting the Social Service League of Cohasset Scholarship. For the past 106 years, the Social Service League of Cohasset has been working to enhance the lives of those less fortunate. This all-volunteer philanthropic organization has seen the generosity of the Cohasset community and has enabled the group to help feed Cohasset's hungry, offer warm meals, gifts, and friendly conversations to seniors. In addition, each year, the SSL awards a scholarship to outstanding high school seniors interested in pursuing a career in community service in disciplines including but not limited to social work, psychology, community organization, medicine, and associated helping services. This year, the Social Service League of Cohasset would like to award their scholarship to deserving senior, Margaret Curley. Congratulations. Hey everybody, it's Coach A. I'm here to present the Cohasset Wrestling Boosters Scholarship Award. This year's award is presented to graduating seniors who have participated in the Cohasset Wrestling Program for a minimum of three years, with one of those years being senior year, and who plan to continue in a post-secondary educational program. This year's recipients are Sam Fox, Ryan Gentile, Danny Nolan, Nick Stavis, and Adam Wilmot. Congratulations, everybody. What's happening, class of 2020? Doc Rich here, excited to present a couple scholarships on behalf of the Cohasset Youth Baseball and Cohasset Youth Softball Associations. The scholarships awarded to a graduating senior or seniors who are former members of the aforementioned youth associations. And winners are selected based upon academic achievement, a commitment to the sport of baseball and softball, and most importantly, perhaps, service to the community. It is my distinct honor and pleasure to present this scholarship to Ian Appleby, Ryan Leahy, Stephen Martell, Austin Tarpey, Kira DeGroat, and Jordan Fawnfield. Congratulations to this year's recipients, and I hope that you put these to great use and I wish you the best next year and in all your future endeavors. Congratulations, everybody. Hi, I'm Michelle Appleby with the Cohasset Hockey Boosters, here to present the 2020 Coach Dennis Walsh Hockey Scholarship. 
This award is presented each year to a Cohasset senior who has played varsity hockey a minimum of two years. And selection is based on leadership, sportsmanship, and academic standing. This year, I'm extremely honored and proud to present the Coach Dennis Walsh Hockey Scholarship to Jack Fitzpatrick. A four-year starter at defenseman for the Skippers, Jack was team captain his junior and senior years and a two-time South Shore League All-Star. He's been an outstanding leader on and off the ice and an active volunteer at numerous organizations around town. Even after his senior season ended abruptly due to a knee injury, Jack continued to work to support his team in every way possible, attending every practice and every game, even every JV game where he helped coach and cheer on the JV team. Next year, he'll attend Skidmore College where he plans to study business and economics and play lacrosse. Congratulations, Jack, and best of luck to you. Hi, my name is Aaron Jeanette, and I'm representing the Cohasset Basketball Boosters to present the Ed Lappin Memorial Scholarship. Ed Lappin was a longtime supporter of the youth basketball program here in Cohasset. Most of all, Ed was generous with his time and talents. He contributed to the Cohasset community in countless ways. This scholarship is awarded to one girl and one boy high school senior who has played all four years of Cohasset High School basketball. They have demonstrated academic achievement and have shown a commitment to community service and a passion for helping others. This year, we selected Maddie Gradinskis and Thomas Chenette. Congratulations and good luck next year to both of you. The John Hartshorn Memorial Scholarship goes to a student who has demonstrated extraordinary concern for the environment and research skills in that area. And this year's recipient certainly checks all the boxes in that. Congratulations to Kira DeGroat. I had the honor of presenting the Justin Langham Memorial Scholarship. The scholarship is given in memory of Justin Langham, who graduated from Cohasset High School in 2001. Selection was based on scholastic performance, involvement in high school sports, involvement in community service, and continuing in post-secondary education. It gives me great pleasure to announce the winner of the award as Taylor Herndon. Congratulations, Taylor. Hi, smart students. It's Mrs. Humphrey here. I am so proud to announce this year's winner of the McSweeney and Ricci Insurance Agency Inc. Scholarship. Let me tell you a little bit about it. It's awarded to a Cohasset High School senior who intends to pursue a major in business at a two or four year college. Financial need is a consideration. This year's scholarship goes to Lauren Fine. Yay, Lauren! Hi, I'm Jeff Cotter, Chair of the Department of World Languages. I'm here to present the Massachusetts Foreign Language Association Award. The Massachusetts Foreign La Language Association Board of Directors established an award program for students of foreign languages in public and private schools in Massachusetts. There's one award for excellence in each language per school, French and Spanish in our case. This certificate is conferred upon the student who has demonstrated excellence in the most advanced course of each language taught in each school. This year's award goes to a student who has achieved excellence in both languages. We're presenting the award to Carly Ford for her amazing achievement of taking and doing well in French and Spanish AP. Carly, we couldn't be more proud of you. This is an amazing achievement that I've never seen done in the same year at Cohasa High School. So congratulations, you're gonna do great things. We're all very proud of you. Felicidaciones. In 1998, a young Jim Willis got his first teaching job at Situate High School, trying to balance being a first-year teacher, a first-year varsity soccer coach, and a graduate student. Don't know how I would have made it through that year without a number of fantastic mentors, and one of the most important was the head football coach at the time, 
uh, coach Phil Pisano. Uh, Phil was an amazing mentor. He would take young Willis down the Cape and teach him how to play golf and uh, spend the whole time talking to him about balancing the demands of coaching and school and life and family and with patience and grace and just everything you could have asked, everything a young coach would need. Um, it is my honor to present the Philip Pisano Coach P Memorial Scholarship. It goes to uh, the ideal candidates are people who attend four-year college or university, exhibit the strong character, academic drive, and sportsmanship that Phil demonstrated each day and instilled in so many during his lifetime, including me. This year, the Philip Pisano Memorial Scholarship Awards go to Maggie Hoffman, Tyler Tomei, and Will Norton. Congratulations. Hi, this is Mrs. Moriarty, the Department Head for Visual and Performing Arts at Cohasset High School. And I'm honored to present the Abington Bank Edward T. Mulvey Scholarship. The scholarship is for seniors in the fine arts, art, music, drama, dance, and photography. This year, the award will be presented to high school seniors who have had and have demonstrated an interest in the fine arts and will pursue a course of study relating to the fine arts in college. This year, the Abington Bank Edward T. Mulvey Scholarship goes to talented percussionist Miles Frank and accomplished filmmaker Jason Conforti. Congratulations to all of the graduates. Greg, congratulations. The Sandy Beach Association has selected you as the recipient of this year's scholarship. We have appreciated all that you've done over the years of your employment at Sandy Beach and your contribution to the community. It is with great pleasure that we are able to award the scholarship to you, and we wish you all the best at Middlebury. Thanks again, and congratulations. Hey guys, my name is Bill Dentremont with Situate Cohasset Psycho Football Board. Purpose of my video today is each year uh, our board gives out a, they have one grant for a scholarship to an athlete who participated in our football and cheerleading uh, program. So this year for 2020, uh, the recipients came in. We're happy to announce that this year it goes to Ryan Gentile. Uh, Ryan, congratulations. Thank you for participating in youth sports, supporting the psycho football program for as long as you did. And uh, from the psycho football boards, we wish you nothing but the best in the future. Thank you so much. Good luck. This year, 2020, the Edward Lappin Foundation has picked two honorees for the Edward Lappin Leadership Scholarship for Cohasset High School Senior Class. And the two this year are Jessica Moy and Lyren Vignu. And we decided to choose these two people because of their um, outstanding essays and they both represent some of the qualities of my dear deceased husband, Edward Neil Lappin, who was very much a leader and involved in giving back to the community of Cohasset and also giving back to the city of Boston through his business work and his charitable involvements. And we felt both Jessica and Lyron were very similar in this way in terms of giving to the community and had strong academic backgrounds and also viewed the world in, in giving in a very global way. So congratulations and my best to both of you. My name is Maureen McCarthy, and I'm here to present an award in honor of my good friend and classmate from the class of 1983, Gia Baresi. First, congratulations to the class of 2020. I know this is not the way you envisioned finishing your high school career, but you are resilient, and having lived through this difficult time, you are up for any challenge in your future. This is the 18th year we've handed out this award. I always feel compelled to share a few words about Gia. She was our class valedictorian and went on to Harvard. But on top of being wicked smart, Gia was also somewhat of a pioneer in women's sports. 
She was the first girl to ever play Little League in the town of Cohasset, and frankly, she was better than most of the boys. In high school, Gia captained the field hockey, basketball, and softball teams. She was truly a scholar athlete, but more importantly, she was a great person, quick to help others when they needed it, and always making us laugh. When she passed away in 2001, we decided to dedicate a scholarship in her memory and award it to someone that embodies her spirit. And each year, it's a difficult decision. I am confident that we made the right choice this year. We chose a young woman who, like Gia, is a three-sport captain and a bright student with what I'm sure is a very bright future ahead of her. I am honored to present the Gia Baresi Award to Molly Greer. Congratulations, Molly, and best of luck to you at Wesleyan. class of 2020 and this most unusual of class nights. My name is Lynn DiGiacomo and I am here to present the 2020 Robert Pepe Scholarship. This year we are giving the scholarship to a young man who best exemplifies the hard work and dedication of a longtime Cohasset resident such as Bobby Pepe. We are giving the scholarship to Ryan Gentile Congratulations, Ryan. You will be receiving a letter from me shortly telling you of the details of the scholarship. Best of luck to you and your classmates in the ensuing year. Hi, this is Mrs. Moriarty and I'm honored to present the Scott Samblom Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship will be awarded to a graduating senior of Cohasset High School who plans to continue in a post-secondary educational program. Selection will be based on the following criteria, academic standing, athletic participation, leadership, and community service. Scott was a Cohasset High and Middlebury College graduate. Eligible students should be involved in athletics and student activities. This year, the Scott Samblom Memorial Scholarship goes to Jack Fitzpatrick. Congratulations. Hi, this is Mrs. Moriarty, and I will be presenting the Social Service League of Cohasset Scholarship. For the past 106 years, the Social Service League of Cohasset has been working to enhance the lives of those less fortunate. This all-volunteer philanthropic organization has seen the generosity of the Cohasset community and has enabled the group to help feed Cohasset's hungry, offer warm meals, gifts, and friendly conversations to seniors. In addition, each year, the SSL awards a scholarship to outstanding high school seniors interested in pursuing a career in community service in disciplines including, but not limited, to social work, psychology, community organization, medicine, and associated helping services. This year, the Social Service League of Cohasset would like to award their scholarship to deserving senior, Margaret Curley. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Aaron Jeanette. I'm representing the Cohasset Basketball Boosters to present the Susan D. Michelle Scholarship. The D. Michelle family was a longtime supporter of Cohasset Basketball. Don D. Michelle was one of the past presidents of the Basketball Boosters, and he and his wife Susan devoted many hours to the development of the youth programs that still continue today. The scholarships are presented to the graduating seniors who have played all four years of high school basketball for Cohasset High School and have demonstrated a commitment to and passion for the game of basketball. In addition, consideration will be given to any student who has been part of the Cohasset High School basketball community for all four years. This year's recipients of the scholarship for the girls team, Caroline Halverson, Molly Greer, Maggie Hoffman, Paige Hewitt, and Carly Ford, who is a four-year manager. For the boys team, it's Luke Adams. Congratulations and good luck next year. The Willem Golden Memorial Scholarship. Willem Will H. Golden lost his life in a tragic accident on March 19, 2016. This scholarship has been set up by his family and friends to recognize his incredible spirit. Will was a varsity athlete all four years while a student at Cohasset High School and went on to play hockey and lacrosse at Skidmore College. While many remember him as an athlete and teammate, he is also remembered by those who knew him best as honest, a fierce protector, and loyal to all those he loved. Will dedicated himself to his dream of playing 
college sports and worked incredibly hard both on and off the field to achieve this goal. His lively spirit was tough on the outside, but soft, kind, and funny on the inside. This year, the scholarship is awarded to Kyle Osborne and Jack Fitzpatrick. Congrats. Good evening, Cohasset. This is Dr. Patrick Sullivan, Superintendent of Cohasset Public Schools, and I am proud tonight to present the Major William Arthur Scholarship. This scholarship goes each year to a graduating senior who is going on to a post-high school educational program. The criteria is scholarship and good citizenship, and I am proud to present it to Ryan Gentile. Congratulations, Ryan. Nichols Award is given to the senior who has attained the highest scholastic average in four years of high school. This student leader, supportive peer, and all around amazing young woman is the valedictorian of the class of 2020. It is my honor to present the Nichols Award to Miss Virginia Coffey. The Kurt Gritson Memorial Award honors the courageous life of Kurt with a gift of $1,000 to a graduate senior who has exhibited an exceptional commitment and passion for the sport of hockey. This year's winner is a true gentleman and a scholar. He is a world traveler. He is a student leader on the rink and in the classroom. It's my honor to present the Kurt Gritson Memorial Award to Mr. Jack Fitzpatrick. Good evening, Cohasset. This is Dr. Patrick Sullivan, Superintendent of Cohasset Public Schools, and I am honored tonight to present the Cohasset Education Foundation Scholarship. This scholarship was created to recognize the important role education plays in the Cohasset community and the lives of its young people. This award will be presented to a graduating senior of the Cohasset High School whose mind is characterized by intellectual curiosity and excellence in scholarship and whose conduct is respectful of our world. This graduating senior must also represent CEF's goal of educational excellence. And I am proud to say there are two recipients of this award, Lauren Ferrin and William Norton. Congratulations, Lauren and William. Our next award winner is for the William Ripley Scholarship Fund. This is being awarded to Reese Pedersen, Congratulations, Reese, and we are so very proud and thankful for all your hard work and dedication to Cohasset High School. Best of luck in the future. Tonight I have the pleasure of announcing the winner of the Noel Ripley Scholarship, a long-standing uh, scholarship in memory of Noel Ripley, who was a Cohasset resident and former high school graduate. It gives me great pleasure to announce the winner is Maddie Donovan. Congratulations, Maddie. Good gloaming, I'm Mr. McCabe. The Hardy Fund Scholarship, provided through the generosity of Margaret Mary Hardy, a long-term resident of Cohasset, is awarded to seniors who plan to continue their education after high school. Academic standing and financial need will be considered in determining the recipients of this scholarship fund. The scholarship is awarded to Annabelle DeGroat, Kira DeGroat, Brianna Pico, and Liren Vigneault. Congratulations, graduates. Hi class of 2020, Mrs. Struzieri here. I am going to go ahead and award the Alice and Walter Schubrecht to four members of this year's senior class. This award is given each year to a graduating senior or seniors who show significant promise of making a contribution to society and who plan to further their education in some way. So it is used to help defray the costs of that. This year's award is going to go to four very deserving seniors, uh, Gregory Smith, Elsie Hessian, Carly Ford, and Ben Smith. Congratulations. Hi class of 2020, Mrs. Druzieri here. I am going to go ahead and award the Malcolm and Helen C. Stevens Memorial Award. This scholarship is donated every year through the generosity of Malcolm and Helen Stevens, who are long-term residents and active citizens in the town of Cohasset.
Recipients are considered on the basis of moral, character, quality of academic record, and financial need. This year's award is going to go to Jessica Moy. Congratulations, Jessica. As the chair of Safe Harbor's Cohasset Coalition, I have the honor of awarding the first Christine Murphy Scholarship to two students from the class of 2020. These scholarships are named after Chris, our founder, who is a passionate advocate for keeping our local youth drug-free. One of the most effective prevention methods is peer-to-peer -peer communication, but this is often the missing key in making a difference because it is not the easiest thing for a young person to advocate for. However, our Youth Ambassador Program is making a difference, and it is from this program that we have chosen two exemplary individuals. The first award goes to Natasha Arnold. Natasha has proven to be a strong public speaker for the last two years in our Youth Ambassador Program, and she plans to continue helping others by expressing themselves through her degree in, as an art therapist at the University of Vermont, Vermont excuse me, and we wish her well. The second award is given to Margaret Curley. Margaret has worn many hats in our organization. She started as a summer intern, she's also a youth ambassador, and she currently serves on our steering committee. She too plans to give back and is pursuing a degree in the Public Health Scholars Program at American University. We wish you both well, and we thank you tremendously for sharing your talents with us. My name is Eileen Norton, and I am on the board of the Cohasset Swim and Dive Team. Rich in tradition, the Cohasset Swim and Dive Team proudly provides our swimming and diving participants with a competitive yet fun venue to pursue and improve upon their swimming and diving. Some of our past swimmers have gone on to compete at the collegiate level, and we're very proud of their achievements. However, most of us would agree that it is the memories of friendships and camaraderie, along with the confidence building that stands out as the most prominent summer memory for most. The two recipients of this year's Swim and Dive Team Scholarships exemplify the work ethic it takes to achieve their personal best. It is with great pleasure to announce tonight's Cohasset Swim and Dive Team Scholarships, Emily Appleton and Sarah Rice. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2020. My name is Suzanne Earle, and I'm here on behalf of the Cohasset High School Soccer Boosters. Seniors, you were great, both on and off the field. The soccer teams are always well known for their successes in tournament play, but this year you guys made a special contribution to the community. You did more community service than teams before you. For this, I applaud you. Every year, we recognize seniors who have gone above and beyond, both on and off the field. This year, we are pleased to announce our award winners are Lauren Farron, Taylor Herndon, Kyle Osborne, and Ben Smith. Congratulations to you, and congratulations to all graduating seniors. We look forward to seeing you back on the sidelines in the coming years to come and cheer on your fellow skippers. Go blue, go out and do well and do good. Thank you. Hi, I'm Corey Evans. I am currently serving as the director of the Cohasset Community Television Station Board of Directors and the president of the Cohasset Cable Advisory Board. Cohasset Community Television, commonly called 143 TV. We keep our fellow residents informed through a variety of truly local programming which is all filmed, edited, produced, and broadcast within Cohasset. And we educate by offering training in TV and film production through both our high school internship programs and through adult training sessions. Thanks for joining us here today, Corey. We film all over town to create a diverse range of programming. We couldn't possibly do so much and cover so much ground with just one employee. Independent study students play a vital role in 143 TV being able to film, edit, and broadcast a lot of the content that you see every day on the station. For the 2019-2020 school year, you might have guessed it, we've received yet another exceptional student. 
He's been with us for three years. He's uh, earned the esteemed distinction of being an editing fool. And it may sound like a bad thing, but trust me, it's, it's not a bad thing at all. Each year, we have the honor of recognizing a student who has gone above and beyond their responsibilities with us and is going to continue their education in film, broadcast, media technology, journalism, or related field. This year, I'm proud to present the Cohasset 143 TV Scholarship Award to Mr. Charlie Cunningham. Thank you, Charlie. Good luck at UMass Boston. And don't forget to stop in on occasion, say hello, grab yourself a handful of candy. I know you will. Good luck, Charlie. Hi everybody, I'm John Froyo, one of the co-presidents for the Cohasset Baseball Diamond Club. Our goal is to promote the interests of the Cohasset High School baseball team through both volunteer efforts and sponsorship donations. My fellow board members include Michelle Appleby, the other co-president, Sarah McSweeney, Catherine Ronan, Greg Albanese, and Jim Soderberg. This year, we are awarding four scholarships to some very deserving senior members of the CHS baseball team. Each of these great kids has participated in the town's baseball program for many years. Three of them were involved in the 2014 Cohasset Little League Williamsport team, which won the Division Eight championship. All four of these boys have been members of the Cohasset High School baseball program for four years. Our first recipient is co-captain Ian Appleby, Ian was a four-year starter on the varsity team playing third base and pitching. He was selected as a 2019 South Shore League Tobin Division All-Star. Ian will be attending Wesleyan University next fall and plans to continue his baseball career there. Next is the other co-captain, Xavier Palastri. Xavier is a stellar left-handed pitcher who was a key contributor to our run to the 2019 South Shore League Tobin Division Championship. He was also selected as a 2019 South Shore League Tobin Division All-Star. He will be attending Northeastern University next fall. Our third recipient is Stephen Martell. Stephen has played catcher for as long as I can remember, becoming an outstanding backstop for the varsity team last season. Stephen will be attending Boston College next year. Finally, our fourth recipient is Ryan Leahy. Along with the others, Ryan has participated in the program for all four years. He primarily played infield, second base, and shortstop. He was a big part of the JV squad, which compiled a record of 18 and two last season. Ryan will be moving on to Bates College next fall. That's our list of scholarship recipients. I would like to thank all the parents who volunteer throughout our town's baseball programs from T-Ball to high school helping to advance the baseball program and keep our varsity team stocked with phenomenal players. To the seniors, good luck on all your future endeavors and never forget where you came from. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Aaron Jeanette and I'm presenting the Cohasset Dental Scholarship. Both Dr. Kevin Thomas and myself have been presenting the scholarship for 15 years now. The scholarship is presented to a member of the senior class who plans to continue in a post-secondary educational program in either dental, medical, nursing, or the public health field. Recipients of this award will be considered on the basis of moral character, academic record, and financial need. This year, we selected Riley O'Leary. Congratulations, Riley, and good luck next year. That concludes our first ever virtual class night for the class of 2020. Thank you for watching, and stay safe.